Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, One Piece of Too Many. Now, following on from my last video where I did the new Unikaru pizza oven unboxing, um, I promised that I'd do an unboxing of the gas burner, which I had delivered the next day after the Unikaru. So, the whole purpose of this video is I'm going to show you what it comes out of the box, um, I'm going to show you how to change the regulator from the uni regulator to the um, screw type regulator to fit the 19 kg bottles that are popular especially on all the uh, uni facebook pages and things like that from flow gas uh, cali gas as well and other gas brands use the same sort of screw fitting um, and then also we're going to cook a pizza on it at the end of this video and compare it to some that i cooked last night using charcoal and wood just for the purposes of if you decide that you're going to take the plunge and pay the extra £65 for the gas burner from Uni um, it's then up to you whether you do that or not or whether you think you can get away with just using the wood and the charcoal one thing I, I'm a big fan of using gas on the Uni ovens so far however I was really surprised at how well the Uni did cook on charcoal and a mixture of wood, uh, hardwood. It was it was really good with the size of the fire basket. Uh, was excellent. So it's going to be interesting to see how useful this gas attachment will really be in the future. So let's get into the sort of unboxing of this. We'll talk through it and then how to fit it to your uni caru. But also that this will this burner will fit the uni three. Uh, the branded UUNI and also the new branding of OONI so UNI and UNI um, it will fit both of those uh, UNI 3 ovens as well as the new carry so let's get into it okay so first things first it's pretty simple plain to see this is for use on as well um, for uh, propane gas so we'll turn it round and have a little look and on the back, it just says obviously this is for use with the Uni 3 and the Uni Caru. Uh, the gas burner attaches right to the back of your Uni 3 or Caru, providing convenient and easy option to power your oven with gas, offering the same incredible speed and high heat as using wood pellets, or for us with the Caru wood and coal. The heat control knob means effortless cooking at a range of temperatures. Uh, Uni heats up to 500 degrees within 15 minutes of firing, ready to cook anything from 60 second pizzas to steak. So it, then in the small print says what's in the box. So, Uni gas burner, two 10mm screws and allen key, extendable match holder, instructions and an essential guide. And then over here there's a little bit more um, info about the burner itself. Um, and it does say that it's 4.5 kilowatt um, and it uses 327 grams of gas per hour um, I'm guessing that will be on, on full um, so slightly less gas per hour than the Unicoder uses so little tabs I'm going to pull down Open the box. And then we're going to slide all of this out. So first thing is all of the uni packaging, even the plastics, are biodegradable as well. Yeah, made from 100% biodegradable material so those that think there's lots of bags it's fine so first thing we've got a match holder okay so this is if your oven doesn't like using the clicker the piezo igniter you can put a mat, light a match push it into there and you can slide it in the oven without the worry of burning yourself now one thing I will say is these are quite crude and sharp on the edges so just be careful we then have an allen key and two screws for if your oven 
hasn't already got that and we have the uh, manual using a knife it's just a elastic strip okay there we have the the gas burner so it's quite it looks really hefty quite well made and you'll see the two pipe comes in the gas the burner and the igniter and then you've got two jets gas jets that come out from here to heat the oven up so it pushes in turn and get a nice click then let go and then you can adjust low or high it comes with the, the usual gas pipe that like, the ovens like the coder come with and this is the regulator that the oven comes with a standard now this is a push fit clip on for patio gas bottles or 13 kg and less size propane bottles however the bottle I've got is the 19 kg uh, mine's actually color gas but it will fit the flow gas when we swap regulators so let's get set up and swap the regulators first and then we'll fit it to the oven okay so what we are going to do first of all is you've got the option of using um, Phillips head or a flathead screwdriver to undo the Jubilee clip so we're just gonna undo this I prefer using the uh, Phillips head gives a bit more security now some people you can say you can pull these off I never have any joy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off so about a centimetre from the end of the bulge there from where the clip was okay, so if you imagine because that's what there is for the pipe to sit on what we're going to do is with a sharp knife so we've got a new knife on a little bit of wood push through and we're going to cut this off and then all you need to do is run the knife a couple of times along to split that pipe to get it off the old burner or the old regulator that we're changing out like so okay so that's how to remove the original uni regulator then to fit the new one we're going to dip this in some warm water and push this onto the end of this regulator here we have the hose gas hose I'm just going to dip it into the hot water this is from a just from a kettle so obviously if you do the same just be careful that you don't burn yourself Okay, then we're going to get make sure we get the right regulator so we're putting this screw type on and we're just going to push this all the way so the pipe meets the end of the regulator we're then going to slide over the jubilee clip like so and we're just going to tighten the jubilee clip and give it a pull and then the new regulator is now firmly in place and it won't be going anywhere while we're here I'm going to get my tape measure and because obviously this is going to this part from this bit here this way is going to fit inside the oven and this part is going to stick out from the back so it is going to add a little bit of length to your oven so if that's an important factor 
Um, so this way it clips on where the normal vent is on the back. So that is eight centimeters to the end of the metal boxing, but then we've got another three and a half centimeters for the knob that controls the firebox itself. So that's an extra 11 and a half centimeters that you're gonna have to account for for where you store or where you actually cook with your Karoo or Uni 3 ovens if you're thinking of using the gas attachment. Okay, so now let's look at fitting it to the oven. So uh, the Uni instructions, um, you can follow those. It's basically what I'm gonna be showing you anyway. So the first thing they say is to remove the door. Now, you must not put the door back on or use the door whilst the gas burner is functional um, because you could get a build up of gas fumes and then when you take the door off it all ignites and you're going to get a flame ball out the front which is going to take your face off so no one wants any of that so door well out of the way. Then the next thing to come off is the chimney so we just twist to unlock it and lift it off and the top of the chimney on the carou also doubles up as a plug that sits in the hole for when you're running on gas. Now if you're doing this for the Uni 3 um, you can take the chimney off and you can just use the cap that, or the scoop that's in the top of the chimney on the Uni 3 and sit it upside down um, on the hole or um, there's a guy on eBay um, and a lot of the Facebook pages that sells a little plate for about £10 that does the same job as this. Then, while it's this way around, we're going to reach in and we're going to remove the firebox. Okay, so you'll see I've used this uh, last night and it's, got, it's turned the stainless steel a really nice um, heated sort of blue-ish colour. Um, again, don't worry about any of that. That's going to happen because the temperatures these things get too crazy, so don't panic too much. Okay, then we're going to spin it around. And the air cover, the airflow cover, we need to remove this first of all. So the Allen key that came with your oven or the Allen key in the little bag with the two Allen key bolts. Just loosen them off a few turns, they don't need to be undone all the way. Okay, then that slides off using the two sort of screw hooks. Okay, then the gas burner simply fits in onto the Allen keys and it sits down onto them. We just tighten these tighten these up, obviously not too tight. Then the fuel door, we're gonna leave that on because it is insulated and that's gonna help to maintain the heat. So that's the gas burner all fitted and ready to go. So to light it, we'll push it in, wait for the click. Hold that in for 10 seconds, then slowly release, and then you can turn to the low setting or leave it on the high and anything in between. So let's get this hooked up to the gas bottle. I'll spin it around and we'll light it. You're now right in the action, so you can now see that the, the two burners are pointing up at the back. So the gas is now connected to the bottle and it's switched on. So let's see 
how it lights and if it does light first off. So I'm just going to push the switch in just to allow some gas through the pipe. Okay, and then on holding it and slowly release. And you can just make out that the gas jets are both lit. And compared to the coder, they really are light jets. The coder has sort of a fine stream of gas jets, as you can see on the um, unboxing video that I did of the coder, whereas these really are just like big jet burners. The carrow, I lit it about 20 minutes ago, well, not about 20 minutes ago, but exactly 20 minutes ago, so it was all timed right, so I'm not using an infrared thermometer like a lot of people might use, I'm just using the timed, so it's been on full for 20 minutes, and I've just made a pizza now to try it out, so let's have a go and see what it's like. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the uh, cornmeal and flour mixture on my perforated peel. And then once it's on, just have a bit of a, a reshape. Make sure it looks like a pizza. And then we're going to go in and pull it out. And we'll see how long this takes to cook. It's already starting to puff up at the back edges. Cheese starting to melt, starting to crackle, side edges starting to go. So now I'm going to go with the spinner and just underneath spin it down looking really good One thing I did do was I spun the stone over, that's why it looks so clean from my cook last night using the wood and charcoal. So after this, the other side will be nice and clean. Okay, I'm just show it the flame a little bit. And base looking good, and there we have it. Cooked in less than one and a half minutes, I'd say. There, and it looks pretty good, it's crispy. bottom as in not burnt got nice crispy crust still all nice and soft cheese has just bubbled on top so I think it looks really good so just have a look next to me here these are the pictures from last night with it running on coal and gas see what you think see if there's any difference can you tell would you be able to live with it on gas or just on coal and on wood. Let me know what you think between the difference of the two pizzas from running on wood and coal and obviously the gas. So there we have it everyone. The Uni gas burner for the 
Karu and the Uni 3 fitted nice and quick gas regulator switched over to the flow gas or color gas 19 kg bottle regulator and a couple of pizzas cooked pretty quick and looking good now let me know what you think in the comments below have you done this have you got this burner have you found it useful over a you know period of time um, make sure you check out my other videos as well um, the unboxing video to the Karu is at the end of this video uh, and obviously in the description below there's links to the other videos make sure you do hit the bell to subscribe and that you do share and comment and make sure you like the video too until next time head over to Facebook and Instagram to follow us on there as well with all the in between news and action on what's going on um, thanks for watching again and I'll see you all very soon one piece or too many.